delayed grab function this is an important definition which is very helpful for the uh, practical exam for the dm exam going students in the long case whenever the transplant case is there definitely this question will be there and uh, in textbooks the definition is not clear in this video i will try to make the concepts clear once the kidney is transplanted which is the graft kidney the functions of the graft kidney can be divided into four categories first it can come for the immediate function that is called the immediate graft function second it might take some time for the kidney to start its function but eventually it gets its function which is slow graft function third is delayed graft function also called as dgf fourth is the primary non function so to define it various studies has been done which they have tried to make the definition with the help of urine output creatinine or egf or need for the dialysis so let's see how the definition is formed this graph is very important to understand all the four definition here in the x axis we are having the time in the y axis the creatinine is mentioned so after the transplant the creatinine might reduced drastically the kidney starts its function immediately and the creatinine from the baseline before transplant and after the transplant it might reach less than 2.5 cut off within 5 days and if it is maintained this is the immediate graft function sometimes even after the fifth day the creatinine might not reduced below 2.5 or after 7 days or after some period the kidney starts its function at a slower pace and reach the baseline value that is the slow graft function suppose within one week if the patient required dialysis and subsequently the kidney graft started functioning it's a delayed graft function suppose if the kidney doesn't have any function at all the patient again dependent on dialysis it's a primary non function so the cut off of 2.5 and 5 days and 7 days this has been from a study the reference i have mentioned over here see there were so many studies from 1984 to 2007 they tried to form a definition for this delayed graft function you can look at the table the uh, reference is mentioned over here there are dialysis based definition creatinine based definition and the combination using the dialysis and the creatinine based definition. there are varied definitions you can go through it one by one need for dialysis after transplantation need for dialysis in the first 10 days Uh, after transplantation these were the definition used in various studies what are the drawbacks with this definition is if the definition if it is based on dialysis then giving the renal replacement therapy is subjective there is no standard criteria to start dialysis in the post transplant period urine output criteria how it biased because the patient based on urine output might be normal in the pre transplant period in case of tubular interstitial diseases creatinine based definition it cannot uh, exactly define the uh, renal function with respect to uh, post transplant period because there might be some variations so that's why these are all the drawbacks so what is the final definition to take so the final definition reliably can be based on the dialysis and this is the standard definition as per the united network for organ sharing they have mentioned delayed graft function is the need for at least one dialysis in the first week of post transplant period this you can quote as a standard definition as per this reference and the united network for organ sharing so this is the delayed graft function definition and the risk factor for the delayed graft function management so it is a seminar and just stopping over here this video i made just to clear the definition of this delayed graft function and this graph you have to remember to understand the four things immediate graft function slow graft function delayed graft function primary non function very very important this is not given in the textbooks